Let's try this one more time for my good friend, Big Will down in Utah. I am going to show you all the sleuthy detective stuff I uncovered uh, in this in this video. Um, I had to restart it because long story, but it was saving to my hard drive that's almost full instead of my uh, portable drive, which is wide open. So I'm just going to start it over. And we're going to screen share here. We're going to screen share to my one of my favorite apps here, Google Earth. Google Earth. Here's my little office right here, little Keller Williams. So uh, we know this property that you want this uh, to. Let's go back to that. 279 Riverview Heights in Rupert. You cannot Google that. It won't show up because it's a farm field. But in the MLS listing, this is the MLS that I use. And uh, there's these pictures we don't like, right? But it tells you right here to find it, go across from Travel Stop 216, cross the bridge and turn left on 300 South. So if I go to Google Earth and I go to Travel Stop, 216 in Rupert, bam, here we go. There's the travel stop. How cool is that? Um, so let's just give that a stop, zoom back out. And now what we have to do is those instructions said, go across the bridge, turn left on 300 South. Well, which bridge, this one or this one? A little bit of time spent figuring that out showed me that this road right here is 300 south. Boom, 300 south. So the directions say, cross the bridge, turn left, just like this little guy's doing, coming to 300 south. And here it is, this big field right here, this farmer selling one piece at a time. And in this little corner right here is lots one and two. Doesn't look like enough, does it? But... When we look at the document that was attached that I sent you that's on MLS, this little guy says right here in the corner is lot one at 1.15 acres, lot two at 1.42 acres. And then we can see that it extends out here. What to? I'm like, well, which line is the water line? Help me out here. What is all this garbledy? I mean, really, who can, who can read that? Come on, mouse. So, and what's this access point? We still have to figure that out. And maybe we'll figure it out on this journey. But um, here's lot two, right? And and the, the only discrepancy in all this is this says the road going by the lot is 200 east when it's actually 300 east. So I'm not sure what the problem is there because you can clearly see 300. It's 200 back here. This is 200 east, and then you turn off and go to 300 east. And so, and, I, and I've got further proof in case you're doubting me, because I was doubting it at first, too. So, uh, I went to the county website, and I plugged in. Uh, don't tell me I have to do that one all over again. I plugged in. Ah, there it is. On the county. Your parcel number which is, gee, is this a whole nother set? My goodness. Let's pull that off and put that over here and drop this. So we're back to that. We're looking at this little corner next to this dark roofed house. And here's Minidoka County. And so, Let's see, here's the corner piece. Oh, I was gonna show you right here on the MLS listing, it's 279 South Riverview. It gives you the parcel number down here and you should have a copy of this document also. I should have sent you this too. But this 9001 bunch of zeros 2A, I went to the county website, plugged that in right here and said, go find it. And it went to uh, right here. This is it right here. So that's your 2A. So that's the property we're talking about. 
And now uh, what this is showing is this property line is going all the way to the edge of the property. That's what that is saying right there. I think you actually go into the water a little bit, but I, I can't prove that. I don't know what this orange is over here, but you definitely go across the road. Everybody does, goes across the road to the water line. Now, where did I find? Oh, so uh, Google Earth. Uh, so that means somewhere in this in this half of this whole corner is the the 1.42 that you're interested in, and it goes all the way to the water line. And right down here, one, two, three, four lots down, this fella dropped in a boat ramp. Look at that. It might even be community because it's quite a bit actually. So you need to check with your CCNRs about that. Maybe this is a community dock. But what that proves is you can do it. This fellow's got a tennis court. Look at that. So um, this is your separation showing your lines. And you, I think you wanted to know like actual dimensions and it's probably on here. It just gets kind of blurry the, the bigger you make it. You, yeah, no, 232.13 uh, feet this way, same that way. And then you got, looks like 1.31, 1.42, something like that. Um, 102.85, maybe going this direction. And 200, maybe 203, go in this direction. So that should be your dimensions. And then these are your north, 73 degrees, uh, 52 west, whatever. Um, let's see. There was something else I was going to show you. Um, so I, I, I there was somewhere else that had pictures that I was going to be able to prove to you. I wonder... This map layers, map well, water flood, soul imagery, somewhere on here, layers. Uh, come on, show me, show me. I want to see Ariel there. Okay, so you see how we got the dark roof. And then I, I'm guessing that's uh, concrete. Yeah, and there's your U drive, right? Here's your dark roof, concrete pad, U drive. So we for sure are looking at the exact same property, right? There's your tennis court. No, there's no disputing it now. So we are in the right place. So the question is, when you come out tomorrow and we're looking at this thing, how are we going to know where it stops? And I think we kind of talked about how crappy those pictures were on MLS. But, uh, and this kind of ties it all together. So this, this appears to be standing on lot two looking out at the water. Uh, I don't know where this is at. There's a horrible picture. That doesn't matter at all. This is standing on the lake side or river side looking at the plot. And you can kind of see markers right here and grass. So I'm thinking that's lot three. And this is showing you the view of lot two and see how the lines run horizontal. I think that's your horizontal lines right here. See how you got three going forward and then horizontal. Three going forward, horizontal. Now they're actually a little, you know, not quite horizontal, but you see what I'm saying? So that is yours right there, but we don't know where it stops and goes into lot one. Same thing from a different angle. And then there's that white house with the dark roof again that's on lot three. So this is your lot two. And then there's the house all the way from the side. And here's those horizontal lines I was talking about. Um, and so, and there we are again on the backside of lot two looking out at the lake. 
So I, I think that should probably answer a lot of your questions as far as what, you know, was this the picture of the wrong? I don't think it is. I think it's just crappy. They should have gotten more of a helicopter view. Um, but this for sure tells you. And you can go to uh, Minidoka County Assessor, Google that, and, and find your way here and plug in your parcel. And uh, you can click around and I mean, you can even click on your neighbors and uh, find out, oh, I, I live next to Abern, Abenroth Douglas, Douglas Abenroth. Uh, and it shows you a little bit more information about uh, each parcel. Oops. So that was Doug. Who's got the tennis courts? Well, that would be David Barker. Uh, is it 285 South Riverview Heights? So there you go. Um, I think that's it, buddy. That's what we're going to go take a look at. So we know we're going to go across that bridge. And, you know, in fact, I can even... It, you can either meet me at that property if you want, or you can meet me at this travel stop and we'll just follow each other over there to it. Um, but that's what you're looking at. And, and man, you've got some awesome access to the river right there. And it looks like this farmer is just slowly, you know, one and a half acre at a time. He's going to go all the way around and, and uh, fill that thing up. But you, you're right there. So... I'll stop yammering on. Hope that helps. I'll get this uploaded to the YouTube. And um, what if I stop share? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There I am. Okay. Are we good? I'll see you tomorrow, pal.